Hello, everyone. Welcome back. So let's take a look at another different question um, in the lesson of the binomial expansion. So the question say the A term given, right? Given the A term of this binomial, but we don't know what power of n is. Is this answer? Now our task is to find the power of n here. What power is that? Uh, when the a term of this binomial equal this, then what power is that? Is that like power 14, power 12, or what power? Power 5, power 6, we don't know. We want to find out. So how do we going to answer this question? So the easy way is just plug in the formula and solve for n. And what is the formula? The formula, remember we have a formula of t k plus 1 equal n to k. And let's say the first her, the first um, number is a, and this will be a n minus k times b to the power k. So that's the formula. So let's plug in our formula for this. So we have t7 plus 1, right? Because we have a term, so 7 plus 1 is a, t8 will be equal, and we don't know, let's leave it like this. And 2k, our k is 7, so n, 2, 7. And then our first term is x to power n minus k, and our n is 7, so this will be n minus 7. And the next will be minus 1 over 3, that's the second term, uh, the second letter in there in the binomial, right? To the power of k, which is 7. Now, we know this answer will be from this one, right? Minus 1716 over 2187 x to power 6. That's the answer. That's the gears, right? So let's look at this. We have n to 7, um, n minus 7. So let's look at this one only. And if we have x to the power n minus 7, it must be equal number 6 here. So we will say n minus 7, therefore n minus 7 equal 6, because based on this answer, right? We know that. Um, so what n equals? So in this equation, n will be equal 6, n 7 is 30. So n equal 30, okay? Now let's check. If we have n equal 13, so now our a term will be ta, right? Equal n is 13 to 7, and x to the power n is 13 minus 7 is 6, right? And the next term will be minus one over three to the power seven. So let's find out is that this is the true answer, right? That's the way we check. So 13, two, 13, two, seven. And 13, two, seven is that number. Right? 1716, 1716 over. Um, and of course, this is x to the power 6, right? x to the power 6. This number will give us 3 to the power 7 to 1a7 and should be minus to 1a7, right? And exactly. That is the way it is, right? So we check it and it looks right. That's correct. 
Okay, so that's how we answer this question. Now let's go to number two now and see what is the answer. Number two asks, which term in the expansion is a constant term? Okay, so we have the power n here is 12, and they ask for constant term. Now, what constant term mean? Constant term mean you only have a number coefficient in front of the letter, but there are no letter there, right? So constant term could be minus 240 or minus 600 or minus 1,200, whatever it is, but there are no letter involved. That's we call a constant term. Constant is just the number, no letter, right? Okay, so let's check. How do we answer this question? We're gonna say, let K be the constant term. Let K be the constant, because we don't know, right? We don't know what is the, um, so we just name it by, by K, constant term. And therefore, if we apply the formula, it will be T uh, K plus one, right? Will be equal, follow the formula, we will have 12, two K, which is we don't know what K is, and the first term is one over x to the power uh, of n minus k. Okay, that's the first term. And the second term we multiply with minus x square to the power uh, k. Okay, so that's how we apply the formula. Now, remember, we're talking about constant term mean there are no letter. And the only way there no letter happen if on of this power equals zero, right? Because anything to power zero equal what, right? Um, so, so the constant term have to be disappeared. The letter have to be disappeared equal what? And the only thing for it to disappear is that their power have to be equal to zero. So we have n minus k, and this is 2k, right? Now, keep in mind that I can rewrite this as uh, 12 2k. This, I can bring it up, but to change it become negative power. So we have like that, right? To like this. And will be minus x to the 2k. We can write like that as well, right? So now we will have the, if, look, if we just look at the power here, we will have minus n to plus k, right? Because negative times negative is positive plus 2k, remember, on if we have the same base, the way we multiply, we add the power, right? So we add this power with this power, and that's how it looks like. And all of this power adding will equal zero because we have a constant term, which is this letter have to be disappear, equal one, right? So now we're gonna solve for k, so we have minus n, plus 3k equal zero. And therefore, 3k equal um, minus n, right? Equal, actually 3k equal positive n. But what is n? We know that n is 12, right? So therefore, 3k will be equal 12. So divide both sides by three, k equal four. So now we know k equal four. But um, if we know k equal four, so the answer of the t will be t four plus one, which is t five. So the constant term is the term five. That's the our, our answer.
But let's check, right? Let's check. Let's check to see if it is true, it's a constant. So to check it, now we know K, just plug in this number. So we have 12 to 4. Um, x to the minus one times with 12 minus four is eight, right? So that would be minus eight. And time with minus x to the two k, k is four. So that will be plus eight. So 12 to four, let's see. 12. Two, four. 12 to 4 equals 495. And because we have a minus 1 here, so the answer has to be negative. Okay, minus 495. Now, x minus a with a minus a plus a, when we time the same way, we add the power, right? So that equals 0. So x to power 0. And x to the power zero is one. So one times minus 495 is minus 495. And that's true. This is only the constant, only the number, right? Minus 495. And that's how you answer the second question. So um, there's a variety way of asking the question in this lesson, right? And I show you... Uh, so far in this lesson, I show you find the mid term, find the constant term, find the expansion, the whole thing using Pascal triangle or binomial theorem. So I'm gonna end the lesson here and the next video, the next um, video lecture will be about the new chapter about trigonometry and we have a lot of fun for the trigonometry at the math 12 level. We have to prove trigonometry identity. We have to do a lot of things, angle in standard position and everything. Um, so I will show you introductory of the unit, uh, the last unit in our course. And I am done. That will be get ready on July 12th for on my math 12 student register in the summer to learn our advanced mathematics. Okay, so I hope you enjoy my video and please hit subscribe and give me a thumb if you like it. Thank you for watching and bye for now.